everyone's everyone everyone <laughs> everyone <laughs> it is april 5th we are first wednesday of the month yay i know it's here so, somebody very important to have another birthday tomorrow <gasps> oh i know it's the 66 a lot of birthdays nice. didn't kevin have his on monday yeah. yes yeah a lot of aprils a lot of aries and my mom's is on friday yeah look at that happy birthday nancy <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Um, so jumping right in, April, brand new month. It's Easter weekend. As you can see, I got my bunnies on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed my bunny. <laughs> I forgot. Of course, I'm doing the baseball Red Sox. Go Red Sox. Easter and a Red Sox playing? No, I don't know. Oh. It's baseball season. You, just, so. you were just feeling the love. Always the Red Sox. <laughs> There's always, always a game going on at our yes. house. It, it doesn't even have to be one of the teams that they really like. It's just always on. Yep. <laughs> Could be worse. There's nothing wrong with sports. Nope. I mean, it's not. I guess understanding the sport would be half the battle. I don't understand any of them. But Oh, you I, don't? Didn't you play growing up or in, you didn't play in high school and you didn't just didn't play? Wow. I came from a very um, European strict background and you don't do those things as girls. Wow. So, yeah, I didn't have those opportunities. I do remember when I first started playing um, with Dawn's Dairy Queen. My dad made me quit the first year because girls do not play baseball. Mm. And then he realized, well, that's kind of silly. So I was able to play all the way up until I was, well, Nikki played on a team with me. So I was in my late 40s and she was playing. She was a pitcher. And I was... Well, you would think, because my kids played, you know, soccer and track and mm -hmm. football. And, but I just, maybe because I didn't have that childhood piece. Yeah. I never, it never registered to me. So, huh. like, I'll watch football. My husband's like, watch this play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just know when the, you know, when the ball goes through the basket or they hit the, <laughs> then Field I'm like, goal. yeah, I'm like, they just something right. They scored. But as far as knowing the whole... And that's the best thing to it. say. They scored rather than, <laughs> know. you know, it's a basket. Yeah. Touchdown. So, yeah. So that, that's okay. But that doesn't... I enjoy the eating and the... And the all... <laughs> the culinary <laughs> part of Everything else sports. that goes with it. Yes. yes I enjoy that. <laughs> culinary sportsman. That's so what I'm, I'm not deprived because there are other things to fulfill. And I get the updates. Yeah. You know, if, if Facebook doesn't update, my husband's updating me, somebody's updating me. So I'm not out in the loop. Right. I'm just doing yeah. the game. Like March Madness right now. You know? I'm not a fan. Really, my husband's a huge I fan. I love basketball live. Mm -hmm. I'll go to a basketball game. Nikki played basketball all the way through high school. I love it. But watching it on TV, I will take a nap. Really? I will <laughs> snore. I will say, how long is this going to take? And switch <laughs> channels on now. That's how my husband feels about baseball. So everybody has their yeah. Their well, thing. Just, I love football. Yeah, football so. all the time. Baseball only when it's in the playoffs or if Red Sox are playing. Other than that, I could care less. <laughs> Even though that was my sport growing up, football. I got to watch football. I don't care what the teams are. I'm watching football. I love football. Probably because I couldn't play. Well, it's a win, and it's fall, and you, yeah. you know, kind of at home type of thing yeah. and even college football so. i've gotten into i like college football so so yeah. on that note um not that we were going to go off onto sports but that was a good introduction. oh yeah it was um, well it's a good introductory for both all of us because i can enter you know announce the mariners game yeah there you go yeah, go ahead yeah, yeah so we've That's got great. three mariners games going out of here uh july 2nd against tampa bay i believe then um, and that's a day game, and we get our box seats in Section 214. Then on August 12th, it's an evening game, and it's the induction of Felix Hernandez. Mm. So it's that's going to be a big – and it's mm -hmm. filling – I mean, I the tickets the tickets for all three games are 149 mm -hmm. The Felix Hernandez game is filling up. Also, the September 13th is where Mariners are going to buy us lunch. It's lunch on the Mariners. That was so, filling up too because I've been yes. taking some of those process. I process some of those. There was well, like anytime three. mariners are going to feed you, yeah. Considering how much it is to eat there, yeah, nice. 
going. Take I'm. I, I have Linda hosting it, but I'm going to buy a ticket, and and Aphrodite and I are going to go. Oh wow! Yeah, and and go to it and eat hot dogs and hot dogs, pasta salad, popcorn, oh, wow. soda, water, coffee, tea. There's something else that they're offering, and then I don't know where the seats are, but I don't care because I'll be eating. <laughs> so anyway, sign up yeah, um, if you want to go to a Mariners up. game. This would be a great time to go. And that's uh, Wednesday afternoon. So there's one that's in the evening, one that's in the daytime. Those are weekends, Saturday and Sunday. And then Wednesday is the That's the fetus. senior one, isn't it? That's the senior, senior day. Yeah. Nice. Get in with us and we'll tell, we'll say you're a senior. Yeah. <laughs> well, just going with just, the group. That's right. That's not right for the nastier age anyway. That's, right? that's true. It's discrimination. That's right. That's Might right. associate so, with being senior. That's yeah. Right. So just. Go in with the group and they can't ask you anything else. So that was my update. So what do you guys have? Thank you got hiking stuff. Didn't ooh, you have ooh. your meeting? We did. We had a very tiny meeting on Monday. <laughs> it was a baby meeting. It was a baby meeting. Um, so from that baby meeting, I just decided where we're going because nobody else gave me input. And maybe we'll change it up July and August. But um, for April, May, and June, we're going to do Kawichi. Um, on the east entrance on the first one. The second one will be Kawichi on the west entrance oh, and fun. then Snow Mountain Ranch for the last one that we do. They will all be the last Thursday of the month. So that would be April 27th this month at 9 a.m. You meet at the location. I will be making up a flyer um, probably not before the end of this week because I'm going to go spend spring break the rest of it with my kiddos. So come Tuesday. Um, <laughs> so when you get that <laughs> next week next, yes, week next week i'll have a flyer but mark your calendar april 27 9 a.m we'll go to kawichi east um so that's gonna be exciting that'll be about a lot how of long is that is that a couple hour hike from start to finish? it could probably be about an hour i would think that most people would be at a maximum to go Do you go all the way to the west side to the other end it really you... depends oh. on my people Okay. If they're like, after 30 minutes, I'm done, let's go back, we turn around and we go back. If they're like, let's be adventurous and go all the way to the other end, let's do it. Well, that's good. You kind of <laughs> read, that, yeah, read that's... the, yeah, because that, that allows everybody mm -hmm. to participate at some point. Well, and that's a good first one, because yeah. if you don't go all the end, all the way to the end, you're going to see the other end next week anyway. Yeah, so yeah. how perfect is yeah, that? That'd be good. Yeah, cool. So what they have to bring? And I'm only asking because I know nothing about it. You need good <laughs> shoes. So. Good <laughs> shoes and socks are number one. You want your feet protected. You want sunscreen because guess what? You're out in the element and the sun is beating down on you. And it's oh, only going to yeah. get worse as we go because the sun gets hotter and hotter throughout the seasons. And water. Bring a bottle of water. Or two. Uh, see? Yeah. You don't have to be a sports or an athletic person to know that. Yes. <laughs> and we have those water holders that go yeah. over your shoulder that Megan make that yes. are wonderful. Yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. Um, there is a first aid kit that we have. So if we have any minor injuries, we can take care of it. Um, but yeah, that's just basic tips that you need to do. Even if you're not going with us and going on your own or going with the Cascadians, because they do hikes on a regular basis as well. Good shoes, water, bring your phone. It's always good because you know what? If something happens, you can call for help. Um, and you can take pictures at the same time. Exactly. And it's a source of light. If you can't oh, see, yeah. you have a flashlight on it. And a compass. Yeah. So water, good shoes, bring your phone. Um, and then know where you're going. Like at least do a little Google map search of exactly where you're going before you head out on the hike to make sure you know the directions. Because if you're not going a group and you are going on with just a friend or by yourself, you need to know the area because it's really easy to get lost. Um but if you're just going to go on a walk around town, like say at Kissel or around Franklin, you don't really necessarily need to scope out the area. It goes in a loop. But still bring good shoes, water, and your phone. <laughs> yeah, those aren't bad tips. Cause, yeah. But yeah. And if your phone doesn't get service, somebody else is made with different carriers. Exactly. So Emergency calls are still allowed, though, if oh, your phone does not have service. That's important. So if you did have something happen, you can still make a 911 call. So will you be the facilitator? I will be. Unless okay. somebody else, anybody want to be a facilitator, I'll happily <laughs> let you do it. Otherwise, it'll be me. You'll be meeting. Well, that sounds fun. So, so April, we well, let's hope that it warms up a little bit by then. 
Yeah, I'd bring a light jacket probably for the first one just to make sure. But we do it at 9 a.m. and I try to keep it consistent and not change the times. Because by the time we hit June and July, yeah, 9 a.m. you don't want to go any later yeah. than that. Already on the border of it being too warm. Yes. Well, 9 a.m. is good too with the cold days too because it's not so cold. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to warm up a little bit. So you hope. Right. But. Yeah, but it's National Walking Day. So that's. There you go. Get out there and start walking. So National Walking Day is to, is Wednesday today. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll start it on the 27th. Yes. <laughs> we got to work up for it. Yeah, you know, exactly. We got to work up to it. it. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. So that's right. I mean, you could walk the park. Mm -hmm. So you can, yeah, you can warm up. Mm -hmm. You can get ready for it. When do, does the park walking start? That depends on my schedule. And I oh, have okay. no nothing in there yet. What park? <laughs> what park are you guys walking? Well, she walks Kindle. We sometimes used to or... do Randall. We used to do Kissel, and we did Kissel, Frankel. Yeah. Frank, 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 So yeah, between yeah, those three, we would get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Wednesday, guys! Yeah. <laughs> Beginning of April. <laughs> um. So no, we walk those three parks and I do it, but right now, just my schedule, I don't, I don't have the time for it right now. So if anybody wants to facilitate that, let me know. <laughs> yep. Park walking. There's always room for volunteers in any case. Oh yeah. From a few hours to every day, to once a month, to once every few months. Yep. Whatever you have yep. available. So, well, on that note... Um, today is also national, what is it? National self-care day. Nice. So I just kind of came up with some things about, and this can apply. I'm going to, what I'm going to touch on women are probably be more interested, but, um, this can apply to men as well. So we're going to talk a little bit about skin, basic skin care tips for older, older skin. Um, cause it's not about us having younger skin anymore. It's about having what? younger skin. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I. I miss the fountain yeah. at youth. So if you found that somewhere, you let me know. But now well, I does it look like I it? don't even care about the fountain at youth. I just want my skin to be healthy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just take care of it. And so we need to embrace our smile lines. We need to embrace our wrinkles because there is stories smile. in that. <laughs> All the wrinkles, yeah. So I'm I'm embracing them. <laughs> 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 there, there's a story behind all of them, just like your stretch marks, mm -hmm. just like everything else. Your so, roles. yep, there's a story there, and and there are good stories. They're not just bad stories. So, well, they're smile I'm marks. Smile. So, being <laughs> with our skin getting older and thinner, and you know, and they're so I don't know about you, but I don't have the patience or the time or the money to go all do all these wild things that they're doing, the face peels. And oh, the, I'd be terrified. Face peel scares me anyway. And and if you want to do it, that's great. That's also a great way to go self-pamper. Mm -hmm. You know, that's another self-care yeah. thing. But what I'm gonna touch on is things that we just do basic that you can go down to Walmart, Walgreens, and buy the products. Um, and natural skin pr products that anything. When you think natural, think of things in your kitchen. So it says aloe, if it says coconut oil, if it says um, honey, if it says er herbs, then you're knowing you're, you know that you're on the natural part of it, mm -hmm. which is always good. And products that have collagen, retinol, and antioxidants are really good as we age. Got to be a little careful on the retinol because some people are a little um, sensitive to the retinol mm -hmm. in some of the products. So, you know, try it out. But those are good aging things. Mm. Um, so one of the things we do, which I am bad about, and I think we touched on this on one of the shows before was washing your face before going to sleep. <laughs> oh, I know. I... <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad at that, but it really is a good thing. And so, because our skin gets drier and drier and it loses, we've lo we're losing our oil glands that keeps it moist and well, that's going away. So, um, but don't use soap. Soap's really bad. Right. It's I knew that. So. I don't do it at night. I kind of do it in the morning after I've slept on it. But you mentioned about the wipes. Yeah, I love it. And the wipes are great. You know, this one is Cetaphil, but oil, I have oil of oil. Oil of oil. That that is like a quick just wipe it off and go. Maybe not as deep of a cleanse, but it still gets gets it off. Um, or any of the other 
gentle foaming cleansers. Um, so I use a lot myself. I use the Olay products a lot, mm -hmm. the L'Oreal products, and Cetaphil and, C and CeraV mm -hmm. are all good um, kind of, they call them drugstore products. They're all good drugstore products. So you can't go wrong with, with them. So clean your face, wash it. Uh, exfoliating. Because we are drying up and that there's no room for, we can put all the moisturizer on, we can do all we want, but if we haven't exfoliated that dryness off, you're wasting product. It's so what not is going. good, what's a good exfoliate, what's a good way to do it? Because I know mask, but then all of a sudden everybody well, has a mask in there. Yeah, just with working. our skin, it, it's good to do one or two times a week at least. And they say that if you haven't been exfoliating for a long time, or if you never have, mm -hmm. you've got quite a buildup. So I do mine like every other day. I just keep it in my, in my, um, what is it? Well, there's, there's like this one. I use the Olay. Okay. So they're, they're real soft, like mm -hmm. little, um, I actually think I have that and I wasn't real sure what it was for. <laughs> yeah. They're just little, what are the little bubbles that are in there? What are little they called? Bumps, the, little, yeah. Bumps. So be careful with the scrubs as our skin get old, gets mm -hmm. older, like yeah. the coffee scrubs, because they really can take a number. So you want something gentle. Both so I use the Olay. I also have the Aveeno product that I've used in the past as well. Um, so those are good exfoliation. Um, they are to, they unplug your pores, get rid of that dead dead skin, prevent that buildup because it builds because the buildup will put a barrier. And so you can oh, put all the other stuff on, yeah, and it'll never um, get through there if you do not take that dead skin off. Hmm. So, and like I said, and men can do this too. This isn't just for, and another important thing is moisturizing. So of course, yeah. we're losing the moisture, moisture. in our skin. Mm -hmm. Oil-free with a hydrolonic acid. It helps hydrate your skin and restores that natural barrier. Mm -hmm. So one that I will try that is on my next thing is the Nutri Nutrigen Hydro Boost. Nutrigen. I guess that one I've heard really good things about. I've done the CeraVe. I've also do the Oil of Olay. Mm -hmm. um, I drinks. have the Oil of Olay. Yeah, so I use that. So using moisturizer every day. Now you're going to bonus if your moisturizer has, like this one does, Age SPF 30. Oh. Oh, so it's nice. got the SPF. See, I have to watch though to make sure they have it doesn't have aloe, because most of the SPF or the uh, sunscreen has the aloe. aloe. I'm allergic it. to aloe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. You know your allergies. Be careful yeah, when you're you have to getting really it. But read those. but you can't really go wrong. I mean, it's just put something on better than nothing. The CeraVe. Um, now that's been talking. I see it on the commercial. I want to try it because it's talking about body mm -hmm. moisturizing mm -hmm. and that it replenishes and go, and so I was wondering if do you, have you used the CeraVe? I have used the CeraVe. And I've used the CeraVe under my eyes and I've used the CeraVe uh what is it the the acid whatever it is. I use that as well. And I've been happy with the products um okay. with CeraVe. Can't you know like anything else I can't tell you if it the works, Neutrogena but... hydrogel sounds yeah that's the, yes that's the one I want to get next gel, yeah. I hear really good things about that so I like Neutrogena yeah so that's a good brand when mm -hmm. um when a sale or I find it I I will get it because that's another thing that I have also learned is rotate your products you know how we talk about yes. your allergy medicine and you get kind of your body kind of gets immune to mm -hmm. it same thing with your skincare products your your body will get immune to it so that's why I rotate. So that's why I'm going to do this one next. Right now I'm on an oil, oil of oil. oil what about, I can't pronounce it. Oil of oil. Um, yeah, I can't pronounce it. So that's fine. So I know. Yeah. <laughs> so like I just got done. I'll be done with this one pretty soon. So I'm going to try the Aveeno one that's in my shower. So rotate yeah. them. That way your body doesn't, um, that's just kind of a tip. But you moisturize and protect your skin from the sun. Mm -hmm. So we talked a little bit about SPF, you know, if you've got your lotions, got, got it, you're halfway there. That's one barrier, but they are saying at least 30 SPF on your face. And if you're going hiking, you should. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> so you should always protect it because it's not just the deep wrinkles. It's your sunspots, it's skin cancer. Um, and as we get older and, and our skin is thinner and thinner, that's all the more dangerous. Um, and you want to really protect it. So at least 30 is a good base. Um, another thing is if you take long baths, if you're a bath taker, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
hot water dries your skin. Yeah. But I love the hotter that water is, the more relaxing it is. Mm -hmm. So, but it's very drying on your skin. So use a body oil, not a moisturizer. Hmm. And that was funny because I was doing that already without even looking at any of this. And so when I get out, bath bombs have oil in them. Yeah. So when I get, and I do this after my shower, Mm -hmm. because for some reason, I don't know why I feel that doing lotion is more tedious. (laughs) <laughs> I, I don't know if this you just slap on you know, like yeah like but does it does it the... does it soak in yes it does really uh-huh it soaks in really quick yeah. and i've used both of them in fact i use this one first and then i use this other one and they're both at at um, um at walmart i love the smell of this one it's got a real nice soft coconut smell it's like shea but is it it's shea moisture it yeah shea it's butter shea in there. moisture okay. it's coconut oil okay. daily hydration body mm. oil so I like the coconut oil um, on there. And I just get out while your skin is damp. Don't towel dry. Just get, and I pour it on and just, and I can tell when my skin is dry because it just slurps it up. Really? Yep. Wow. So the areas that's really, really dry, you know, and if I haven't been doing it for quite a few days, when I do it, it just like, and when I've been doing it consistently, then it goes on smoother. So hmm. your body will actually... Your skin will tell you if it's dry or not just by how quickly it soaks that up. I have a bad experience. I have a story about that. (laughs) Bad experience. Now, this is really letting in my world. So younger days, and I we would use baby oil for Mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. of that. And so I got out of the shower and did the whole baby oil all over and stuff and then had to use the toilet. Slid right off onto the floor. And I still to this day, when you say oil, that's all I think about. Well, I'm is glad like, you're. Whoop. I'm glad you're oiling your bottom side. That's good. That is good. I think I'm always in such a hurry in the morning that the bottom side doesn't get any help. Yeah, I don't pamper my bottom side. Does it sound? But I, I am going to tell you that you do. You are slick for a while I'm until always. all of it absorbs. So I do it, and then I put my makeup on I do all that other stuff while it's sitting on and soaking away so yeah if you have to use the bath the toilet beware beware (laughs) (laughs) only you Lori (laughs) you get the good bad and the ugly with us that's that's a good tip that's good to know um so yes it is really good for you but just be careful (laughs) and I don't put it and you know on on a serious note too if you tend to want to put it under your feet you know, be, oh, he- yeah. be careful. Oh, he- heavens, yeah. Yes. You- <laughs> just, yeah. So be careful. But I do prefer it better than a moisturizer. <laughs> just like your feet. If you put socks over, because like that's yes. a good thing. Like if you're yeah. going to bed, you can moisturize yes. your hands, moisturize your feet, and then put socks yeah. Mainly because that stuff that I put on for my restless leg mm-hmm. is kind of oily. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So work it in, and then I put my socks yeah. on. Which and- gives it even a better. Um, mm-hmm soak in but, yeah, yeah yeah it's if you do it at night see i'm i'm one of these if i do it in the morning i do it all mm-hmm. as the day progresses on i get non-compliant i get whatever so nothing happens at night but if you are faithful at taking your makeup off and doing your regiment at nighttime that's a great way to do it i'm know, just like slap it on in the morning that yeah because... yeah i'm not a good nighttime regiment but no. you're supposed to do that well you know so, i i was raised on mary Kay. Mm-hmm. My mom was a senior sales director. I sold it. And they got good products. Started when I was 17 years old. Skincare. You know, and you did. I always thought, well, why do you do this? And then you do this. And then you, I never wore foundation at all mm-hmm. in my whole life. And then with Mary Kay, you have the foundation. But it's the protection because it has the SPF in it. So you'd put it on and it was like, oh, you just felt so wonderful. But my chemistry changed. Yes. And now I've tried other ones and it doesn't work as well as it used to. But I mean, I use that stuff. But that's where I was learning. Cleaning, taking it off, moisturizing. Then I'd have the night cream. And um, and this is just a basic. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it's not. You're washing your face. You exfoliate a couple of days a week. Yeah, moisturize exfoliating. every day. Um, put your SPF on, um, and then obviously the body oil. That's another part of moisturizing uh, I have your body. So out of the habit, I but there's the so habit. many other things that you can do. I mean, there's there's so many other steps that if you have time to do it and you want to throw it in in your regiment, you know, like working on your circles and your, you know, there 
the wrinkles and the alpha hydroxide. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what those products are. And there's all kinds of stuff. I just kept it really simple because um, I do that kind of stuff for a little bit, but I don't stay compliant. Right. So it's kind of old. And then the other thing is hydrating. And what that means is drinking water. Yeah. That you would bring on your cake. Yep. There you go. So <laughs> hydrate because two bottles in the morning, two bottles. You're moisturizing from, from the that's inside out. Yeah. So that's just kind of some tips um, from and then, reminders too. Yeah. yeah, and then another part about self self care is some cute little ideas I saw on the thing was be proactive with your routine medical exams. You know, that's all about self care, taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we're, you know, at certain ages, we have been everything but. We have, but ourselves, we have been the mothers and the mm -hmm. wives and the, you know, and the career person that, and so self-care is just about finding time to get your medical exams, your, your, um, yearlies, mm -hmm. get your eyes checked. And a good tip is because who can remember, right? It's the years go by so fast. It's like, yeah, oh, it's last year. No, that was two years ago. Yeah. That was three years ago. So do it on a, a memorable month. So like your birthday month, good time to schedule. So oh, you'll know yeah, that those are, yeah, to get all your appointments scheduled on that, on that time mm -hmm. so that you know that your yearlies, you're doing your yearlies, mm -hmm. um, do something you enjoy doing every day, watch a movie or TV show journal, um, write something, you know, something that you just, cause we tend to kind of like, oh, I be feeling like guilty for taking a moment to be a little se selfish and just zone out. Mm -hmm. And then do something you love to do when you were young that you don't do anymore. Be it coloring, finger painting, blowing bubbles. Um, go get your favorite ice cream, a board game from, you know, from Still childhood. Do all those things. Yeah. Just <laughs> don't forget yeah. about that. Bring that inner child and then take a na na nature break. If you can't go outside and we know that our weather is not allowing us to do things, watch a nature documentary. Mm. Look at a book with nature stuff because- there's a study that showed people who viewed nature were happier than those without. And nature calms our nerves and relieves mental fatigue. And it like doesn't... going on a hike. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, but it does. And so I'm going to work that hike in. I know. Thing. But it's, yes. very, it's very true. I mean, yeah. how do you feel when you, even when you go outside and walk on your grass barefoot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, you know, so. I can't wait. I heard the irrigation came on. It, we I were just talking about, about that yeah, because we'll saw the water the at the, behind the school. I can't wait to turn my sprinklers yeah. on because just sitting out and listening to the sprinklers, see, is the most calming thing. That sh 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 yep. Or if you've got a water fountain and you're just hearing the water yeah. drip, or you hear the birds. So yeah, there's something to be said. So if you can't we'll turn your get out on. there, look at a book until you can get out there. Yeah, because it gives you the same. So that's basically cool. all I had in a nutshell. Nice. Nice nutshell. Yeah. So take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Don't get a sty like I've got in my eye. And if you do, I'm going to do a poetry. <laughs> sty in the eye while looking at the sky. Well, on that note, <laughs> I don't know what I'm <laughs> from there. <laughs> don't get a sty. Um, yeah, I don't even know how you get them. <laughs> Uh, we have the Veterans Coalition Toiletry Drive going on right now. Um, the Women's Toiletry Drive went phenomenal, mm -hmm. so thank you for everybody donating. Um, but yes, we'll do Veterans Coalition Toiletry Drive. Very similar stuff that we're looking for. Um, and it'll be till June 30th, so drop by your donations to the Harmon Center front desk. Um, anytime we're open, stop on by. Then if you haven't gotten one of these, well, you didn't renew your subscription. <laughs> Simple as that. That is why. Um, but inside of that was a survey. Um, and so the survey on the inside, fill it out, bring it back in. Let us know your thoughts of what we can do, if there's new programs you want, if you tell us how we're doing in general, how Seniors Inc. is doing. Um, both of us are on one survey. Um, and if you don't get the newsletter and you get it on the email, it was in the last email I sent out with the new newsletter in it. And we also have copies at the front. So. Well, we've got a few that have come in and mm -hmm. already some good, some good tips in there. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for mm -hmm. the ones that have turned them in.
Yeah, thank you for helping. Yeah, it's always nice to hear everybody's input. Because sometimes, is. you yeah. know, you run out of ideas or you just get kind of like in a funk this of is like work. Yeah. yeah, like writer's block. Kind of yeah. just like, huh? Well, and yeah. you don't know because some pe people out there get complacent. They just know it's happening. So yeah. they come, they do. They, and it's like, are you enjoying it? Are you doing it just out of habit? Would you like to have something new? Yeah, it's you know, good. It's, we need that feedback. Yeah, yeah, because we normally we don't we don't really have a method of feedback. I mean, you know, we have the negative feedback. That's always very easily, you know, mm -hmm. every, everywhere is is that's easily. But when people give to give constructive criticism or to give ideas, I think people are less hesitant. Mm -hmm. um, or just they don't just think about it. So or you'll have it's the, important. It's and anonymous. Not that I don't appreciate it, but there's there's probably a handful that are always in the office and talking to us about different things, and that's all you hear. Like, right. And they have great ideas, but I want to hear everybody's ideas. Right, yeah. right. And we've covered <laughs> those, and you know, to cover those, those. But there's so much more than just that hand. Those hand well, and it's people. also nice to have it in writing. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't know how many times I get people throwing at as you guys do too ideas for trips, ideas for programs, ideas for this. But when you're on the fly or you're walking, yeah. by the time we get back to our office, we don't even know who we just saw. Right. So having it written down where something we can look at tangibly and go, okay, yeah. oh, and this has come up a couple times. Mm -hmm. Well, this is something to look at, you know, so. Yeah. So it, yeah. it is, it is handy um, to have that. So that way we can plan, we can sit down, we yeah. can see that. Because I don't, you're, I'm just like you, where sometimes it's, I'm sitting on my couch at 10 o'clock at night and like, that's right. So-and-so said that. I need to say that when I, you would think the next day that I, nope, it's. I've forgotten it before I shut my eyes. Yeah, ass. yeah. So some great ideas that come through, day. but they don't always, always hold that long. So, so well, I, I think that was a pretty good intro. You got any more? Nope. Got anything else? Oh, no. Happy early birthday to you. Yeah. Thank you. We're not celebrating anymore. But guess what? Just as a final note, Al's had a present wrapped. He <laughs> wrapped it and a card sitting in the bird room for me for over a week. Nice. Oh. Over a week. He and bought you haven't this... been tempted to open it? Oh, heck no. Oh, because see, he's, he doesn't do this. So I'm like, uh, oh. oh my gosh, he thought of something. He got oh, something. He wrapped it. So it's just sitting in the bird room. So every time I walk in there, it's like, oh, it's almost uh, time. So next year, we tell you what I got. Well, birthday and Easter, you've got where it's coming up around one yeah. or the other. So. And Bailey's birthday. She'll be 10. Oh, oh, wow. So we've got Bailey's birthday. We've got Easter, Bailey's birthday, Zoe's first tennis match. Nice. Um my birthday east yeah it's just wow like, so oh, you're kicking it, off spring. and then we leave for hawaii at the end of april oh fun so, yeah fun. exciting yep so happy fun easter fun. to happy everybody easter. Yep. Happy easter. the reason for the season yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah hope you guys all have a wonderful fun Happy season easter weekend yeah yep and we'll see you next week yep bye guys bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.